This video is intended to show how to set up the nucleus control surface with Pro Tools and to suggest a few tips and tricks with it. For a roundup of the features of Nucleus, please watch our product tour on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash SSL videos. Nucleus is a complete solution for the hardcore in the box producer, someone whose world is centered around multiple projects, recall, fast workflow, and creative inspiration. It has all of the tools you need to turn your computer into a hands-on mixing machine without letting technology get in the way of ideas. Simply add a laptop for a fully mobile SSL rig. Once you have installed IP MIDI on your computer, you must configure it to allow multiple ports. Open your audio MIDI setup and from the window menu select Show MIDI window. In your configuration you will find IP MIDI. Double click the icon and set the amount of ports to 6 and press apply. The next step is to configure your network settings. Open the Apple System Preferences and select Network. Choose Ethernet port from the selection of devices. And if you're using an Ethernet switch or router, configure IPv4 to using DHCP. If the nucleus is connected directly to your computer, configure IPv4 to manually from the drop down menu. Set your IP address to 192.168.1.1 and your subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. And press apply. You must also ensure that your airport is turned off. Ensure your nucleus is connected to your computer with a standard Ethernet cable and open the nucleus remote. If it doesn't automatically find your device, press the magnifying glass and click find. Check the select box against the unit you wish to use and press close. The status at the bottom of the Nucleus remote window should now display online in green and the serial number of your unit. Select the DAW layer of Nucleus you wish to edit and via the profile setup box choose the desired profile from the drop down menu. The Nucleus will then reboot. Nucleus can be set up to control three different pieces of software simultaneously. MIDI control for the three Nucleus layers is split across the six IP MIDI ports, which means that your DAW must be configured to match the following. To control software with DAW layer 1 of the Nucleus, the application will need to be set to IP MIDI ports 1 and 2. To control software on DAW layer 2, the application will need to be set to IP MIDI ports 3 and 4 and with DAW layer 3, it needs to be set to port 5 and 6. To set up the Nucleus as a controller in Pro Tools, go to the Setup menu and click Peripherals. Click the third tab, MIDI Controllers. The following example presumes you are setting up Pro Tools on DAW layer 1 of Nucleus. From the type list select Huey and then change the receive from and send to boxes to be IP MIDI port 1. Repeat the process on the next row but set the receive from and send to ports to IP MIDI port 2 and click OK. To select the Nucleus sound card, go to the Setup menu of Pro Tools and click on Playback Engine. Select the device Solid State Logic Nucleus from the drop down menu and click OK. Now Nucleus is set up and ready to use. All 16 faders should be up and running. 
If you have more than 16 tracks in your session, use the channel or bank keys to access them. You will notice the top left-hand buttons on Nucleus are pre-labeled with a selection of the most useful functions, including default, mute sends, sends A through to E, and pan. Pressing the pan button will set the rotary V-pots to control pan. Selecting the send A button, the V-pots will now control each channel's send A level. Pressing the flip button allows you to use Nucleus's faders to control send levels instead of the V-pots. Perfect for manually riding send levels. Usefully, when in flip mode, the V-pots now become the pan control for each send. Pressing the auto button allows you to access Pro Tools's automation modes directly from the Nucleus. Simply select the channel you wish to automate and push the V-pot to select the appropriate mode. You can also control plugins using Nucleus. To do this, press the Param button and then select the channel on which you wish to control the plugin. You will see the first four insert slots of the channel you've selected. Simply press the V-pot to open up the parameters. If your plugin has more than four parameters, simply turn the Param V-pot to access the other parameters. And to see the plugin on screen, use the plugin soft key and see the parameters scroll between them. Using exactly the same method, you can also control virtual instruments in Pro Tools. Nucleus has two user layers for customizing it to your workflow. Pro Tools has many keyboard shortcuts that require you to hold down a modifier key and press several other keys at the same time to access certain functions. Speed up your workflow by accessing these commands with a simple V-pot or button push. User layer one gives you some pre-prepared examples. Use the edit and mix buttons to change windows or launch windows such as transport and memory location. Each mode button within user layer 1 and 2 can be a single function button or an 8 option menu, giving you a total of 156 spaces to fill with your own keyboard commands. One example of this is the edit menu in user layer 1. Using commands such as separate, copy and paste, together with the Nucleus's jog wheel and arrow keys you can simplify the editing process. As well as accessing standard DAW commands, the buttons on Nucleus can be programmed to send any keyboard command direct to your DAW. One example of this is inserting and renaming markers, which we'll set up an example in user layer 2. Open the Nucleus remote and select the button that you wish to modify. Go to Key Assign and click Learn. Nucleus is now waiting for you to program a shortcut. So start by pressing the Enter key, which will insert a marker into Pro Tools. And then type I-N-T-R-O, as I'm going to use this to put a marker for my intro. Complete the macro by pressing Enter again, which will close the marker window in Pro Tools. Click on Learn, OK, and rename the shortcut in the Nucleus browser. When I click Save, you see that Intro now comes up on my User Layer 2, and when I select a position in the song, press the Intro button, Pro Tools now inserts a marker. 
Nucleus offers a whole world of options for customizing your workflow with Pro Tools. Using the 156 available shortcut keys, you can define your own approach, taking the emphasis away from your mouse and placing it firmly back on music creation. We hope that this video has inspired you to re-examine your own way of working and that it has helped to illustrate how Nucleus helps you to work faster and sound better.